Hey Data Center Admins, Jack Wallen here to help you get things done. Let's install the Windows Procmon command on Ubuntu Server 18.04. To install the necessary dependencies, log on to your server, open a terminal window, and issue the command sudo apt get install bison build dash essential flex git lib edit dash dev lib llvm 6.0 llvm dash 6.0 dash dev, libclang dash 6.0 dash dev, python, zlib1g dash dev, libelf dash dev, cmake dash y. Next we need to build bcc. For this we turn to git. Clone the bcc source with the command git clone dash dash branch tag underscore v0 dot 10 dot 0 https colon slash slash github.com slash iovisor slash bcc dot git. Next, create a build directory with the command mkdir bcc slash build. Change into the new directory with the command cd bcc slash build. Compile the source with the command cmake space dot dot space dash capital dc make underscore install underscore prefix equals slash lowercase slash usr. When the above command completes, issue the command make. Finally, install bcc with the command sudo make install. We now need to install the latest version of cmake. The easiest way to do that is via snap. First, remove the current version of cmake with the commands sudo apt get remove dash dash purge cmake dash y hash dash r. Install the latest version of CMake with the command sudo snap install CMake dash dash classic. We can now clone Procmon and build it. Clone the source with the command git clone https colon slash slash github.com slash Microsoft slash Procmon dash four dash Linux. Change into the newly created directory with the command cd Procmon dash four dash Linux. Create a build directory with the command mkdir build. Change into that newly created directory with the command cd build. Compile and build with the following two commands. cmake space dot dot make. Build the package with the command cpack space dot dot. Finally, install procmon with the command sudo dpkg dash i procmon star dot deb. When the installation completes, you can begin running Procmon. For example, you could follow all processes and system calls with the command sudo Procmon. If you want to see more how-to videos, subscribe to our How to Make Tech Work YouTube channel. Also, check out Tech Republic for the latest news in tech.